worship of God is object-based. My worship of God is not in what I have. My worship of God is in who has me. Okay, all right. If you ever gotten on a roller coaster, if you ever gotten on a roller coaster, depending on if it's gonna go in loops or not, or whether it's just gonna go side to side and up and down, you'll notice there's always some kind of bar that has to get pressed down. Whether it is a bar that goes over your lap, or whether it is a bar that goes over your shoulder, they do not start the ride until they make sure their bar is secure. And there'll even be somebody that walks by and grabs and pulls on the bar just to make sure it doesn't move. They don't walk by and ask if you're holding the bar. They need to make sure that the bar is holding you. Uh, here's the reality, y'all. The reason you have made it this far is not because of what you've been holding on to. The reason you've made it this far is because of what's been holding on to you. See, some of us have object-based worship. So if I got a nice car, I have worship. If I got somebody fine on my arm, I got worship. And I do have a fine wife, I thank God for. If, if, I, if I got a certain level of education, I have worship. If I have a certain level of money, I have worship. We have object-based worship. But Paul says, I don't worship God based on objects because that's what I have. I worship God based on the fact that God